welcome back to my channel. It's Tilly here. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and wet that notification bell so you will never miss another video from me. Today, I am... Ooh, my voice. <laughs> Today, I am going to be sharing with you guys some editing hacks that I use to edit my personal videos. And I feel like they would definitely be helpful to you guys and beneficial. And I want to help you guys create your channels or make your video editing better or even if you're just starting something new and you need some video editing hacks, need some tips and tricks, well this video is for you. This video is going to help you out and make sure that you get your goals done and if you want to start a YouTube channel, you've come to the right place because these video hacks are definitely going to help you out. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So to start off these editing hats, the first thing that I really like to do in order to make my videos look less chunky and rough is to add transitions. So over here, this is the Bobby Video Editor 14. This is where the tra transition button is, so I go in here. I personally like to use flash, so I just simply drag that in between my clips. And then I go over here. And you know my video plays and yes this is muted for the purpose of the video but you see how smooth that was now what I'm going to show you guys is how I make my videos look more bright so there's two ways that you can do this so what you want to do is you want to click on the video part so you have both video and audio selections now for the volume, I generally increase mine to 300% because for whatever reason when I record on my phone, it's like really quiet. And that's what I do with all of my videos. I make my voice 300. And if you wanted to, you can also click the normalize button which will get any like type of rough sounds out of your video. And what I like to do is there's two things you can do. You can click all of the auto. Um, selections so auto saturation auto contrast magic enhance auto white balance I personally don't like how that looks so what I do is I remember the sequence going to manual I remember one one three one this is how I do all of my videos this is the setting that I do so for brightness it's 10 contrast 10 saturation 1.30 and highlights 10 I do not mess with the gamma shadows hue temperature and tint I do not touch those because I feel like those are too much it makes the video look too edited so I don't generally mess with those that is how I make my videos look more lively and bright and everything of the sort besides the fact that my camera is great quality so that is a hack for you guys to only met to only mess with the brightness, contrast, saturation, and highlights. And it's basically to your preference. It really depends on the person and what they're trying to do. Next, I'm gonna show you guys how to perfectly line up your pop-ups with the pop-up sound. This took me forever to learn, you guys. I swear it just took forever. So I have my little subscribe button right here. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm going to drag it over and I'm just going to place it right here just because we're not lining it up perfectly. So first of all, I like to click on mine and I adjust the size of my subscribe button and I always, always, always put it towards the center. So this is the subscribe button that shows up in the beginning of my videos but if you guys pay attention to the bottom corner in my other videos. There is a little like makeup swatch and it says subscribe with an exclamation point. You can also click that to subscribe to my channel but this is what I do for the both intro and outro. So then I click apply. Now once you do this, you go and you have your sound effect for that pop up. Now this is the popping sound effect that you guys hear in all of my videos. So you want to pick this up and if you guys can see it in the video. You line up the light blue line. Okay, so you guys see the little white blue line that's on the pop sound effect right here? You want to overlay that exactly with the subscribe button and you let go. I'm going to turn on the sound so you guys can see this in 
action. So you guys heard that? This popped exactly when the subscribe button came up. And you guys can do this seriously with any pop-up. Like in my Netflix video, I showed each and every show and the pop-up sound was on point every single time. This is the hat that I use. No one showed me this. I figured this out on my own because I was like, wait, lining up the sounds with the image would be so much easier. Let me just look and see where the sound is at. So that's really helpful for those of you that have been struggling with that. The next tip I have for you is the chroma key. Now, so many people have asked me, how do you get that subscribe button on your intro? Like, how did you do that? So, I went to Doodle and I searched up a subscribe green screen. And you want a green screen when you do this. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take this clip and you're going to overlay it on top of another image. And, of course, what you want to do is you want to shrink down this image until it lines up. This is a little too high for me to see, so I'm still going to back it up a little bit more. So there. That's all backed up. And what you do is you click on the image. Now, you go down to where it says chroma key. And it already has this lime green selected. So what you're going to do is click apply. And look at that. So now what you do is you click on it. You can move this. You can make it bigger. Do whatever you want to it and now what we have to do is we click apply and then we scroll down and let's see this in action ta-da that is how I do it it is chroma key let me tell you guys, Chroma Key does not only work with the green screen. The green screen is the most obvious thing. It's the most easy thing for you guys to use the Chroma Key with. But you can do it with white backgrounds, black backgrounds, purple, neon pink, anything. Because what it'll tell you to do is it'll tell you to click on the color that you're trying to X out, like take out of it. And that is what it does. So that's really cool and really helpful. I learned that once again by myself because I saw people and I was like, hmm, maybe it's an overlay. So I had actually searched up subscribe green screen overlay when I found out what the chroma key was. So that's really helpful for those of you new YouTubers out there that would like to know how to do that. I haven't seen anyone say, you know, how they did that or anything. So that was something I learned on my own. Okay, you guys, that is the end of today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed these hacks. All of these are super duper helpful, especially if you're starting out a channel. And if you liked any of these hacks, or if you have other hacks that you would like to share with everyone down in the comments below, feel free to put them down in the comments below so that we can all share each other's tips and tricks and make each other's content even better than imaginable. And don't forget to leave me any questions down in the comments below for my future Q&A, whether it's about me, my channel, videos that I made in the past, video editing, things that you want to request, anything of the sorts, you can ask me and I will be sure to answer them all in my Q&A that will be coming up really soon. So without further ado, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!